Hi everybody, it's Michelle, the Mini Scrapper. I'm here today to show you um, my design team project for the month of February, and that's uh, for Creative Soup for the Soul. And today what I made is a stick pin holder to keep in my uh, craft room. I've been busy making stick pins, getting ready for the uh, stick pin swap that we're having over there. And decided I made a whole bunch more than what I even need for the swap and they're just so beautiful and I wanted to create something that I can keep in my craft room and and look at and display them and um, until I need to use them for the project uh, so here I go here's my project and it is just um, what I made this out of I used the mesh bling a whole strip of the mesh bling that I got from Creative Soup for the Soul store, and um, let's see, there's some of the stick pins that I created. These butterfly stick pins are from the store as well, and the one on the back, let me lift that out for you. I actually used and added the 9mm pearls that come, um, that Trish gave me in my design team package, and they do have a hole in them. And these stick pins here the butterfly that's what it looks like plain these are really super long and it's a little thicker so the big beads like the nine millimeter pearls actually work better for these so I just love those I don't I probably won't even use them in a project for a while because I think I just want to stare at them but back to the holder now how I did the top what I made this out of was just a can let me see if that zooms out um, a can from my pantry. Um, it was an old can of spinach and I cut the styrofoam balls that we, we made Christmas ornaments out of at Christmas time that you can get at your local craft store and I cut that in half. I painted it black and I just applied um, hot glued some lace on it. Nothing fancy, just put it over it and pleated it with the hot glue. And then this is the large rhinestone bling that um, she sells in the store. That stuff is really fun to work with. It makes a great trim. It's flexible to cut. It bends nice. It's just really gorgeous. And I just um, outlined it with that. And I left the edges jaggedy because I just liked the look. And then I took the mesh bling and I wrapped it around the can all the way. And um, then I used, I love these new crystal flowers that she, she carries. And they're not the real huge ones. They're like the perfect size. They're, um, let me see. Here's how they come in the bunch. You can see. So compared to my fingertip. Sorry. You can kind of see how big they are. They're not, they're like the perfect size. And I cut them apart and, um, Glued them on. I just thought it gave a real crystally look on top of the bl the bling, and it you know really enhanced the beauty of all the jeweled stick pins. And then I used these gorgeous. Oh well, you can see with the light. See those? I'm gonna try to get them. We see how that, that's pleated satin uh, ribbon, and she sells these flowers in the store too. They come in pink, baby pink, and black. I'm not sure if they come in baby blue or not. Uh, don't remember but they have a little rhinestone center and here's they come six in a pack and I've used them I try to keep the stuff that I love the most to make for to keep out in my room so I could just always stare at it because it's just so beautiful and these are one of them and then here's how here's I'll just show you this is the rhinestone trim that I used and you can see it comes in a very long piece very flexible. Let me get a close up. You can see that it's really not rhinestones poking out. It's like the way the inside is cut and it makes it look like a rhinestone. So nothing's going to fall out. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Love working with this. And then again, the mesh bling. I, I did the silver. It comes in many colors. And that's how I put that together. And I just wanted to show you how flexible this is, which I'm sure if some of you haven't worked with it by now, most of you have. Um, when you cut, a little goes a long way. You can just cut one little row of this, and it's so, it's very fine mesh, so it'll cut easy with any scissors. 
and you can just use it as little rhinestone strips on something. It's just, it's so versatile to work with. And she's now selling it in smaller sections. If you didn't want to buy the big square piece and you just want to try it out, I think how it's going to be sold now is like eight of these across, eight little stones across, and then tw a yard long. So it'll be in more like a ribbon strip. So go on over and check that out, and um, I hope you liked this project. It'll be in my scrap room for some time, and here's my little stick pins. Those are also available in her store. Not decorated, but you can decorate them. And I just love those butterfly stick pins. And I had fun creating a bunch of others. Here's some of my stick pins I've been creating, if you can see. And I have a ton more. I didn't even put them all on because I put them on a dress form, but I needed something else. So, All right. Have a good day, everybody. Stop by Creative Soup for the Soul and um, check out some of the great products that Trish has in her store. Thanks. And if you have any questions on how I made this, um, I'll be happy to answer them. Just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks, everybody. Bye now.